Welcome back to Mega Man 11 speedrun tutorial. Now we're done with the actual Robot Master stages and we're ready for the Wily Fortress. Keep in mind, there's an extra cutscene after getting Acid Man's weapon and when you first enter the Wily stages. Skip them both by mashing your menu button. Also, this is practically your last chance to buy W tanks if you still need them, just because using the shop is slightly slower from the castle stages because of the fate to black transition. If you think you're all set, Let's head out and see what kind of a stage Wally 1 is. This particular strat uses a lot of gear, so make sure you turn off your power gear every chance you get. Those cooldown moments are extremely important since overheating ruins pretty much everything. That said, do a quick slide when you enter the stage, cancelling with a jump soon after, then summon Jet, ride him for a bit, jump and change to impact, fire one normal impact to reach the first platform, slide to the edge, turn on your power gear and jump until Mega Man is aligned with the smaller background tower here, then fire 5 power impacts to skip most of the first screen. Make sure you don't start your impacts too early or too late. Otherwise, this flying enemy here will most likely end up being a problem. After destroying the cone, change to block and fire one power block before Mega Man touches the ground. Do not fire it right after your last impact though. Delay it enough so you can see the mech on the screen. Turn off your power gear briefly and slide four times. Flick it on your power gear just before the screen transition. Let your slide finish and jump shoot to fire one power block to destroy the first air stone and the roller. Turn off your power gear, slide, jump and slide again. Then after Mega Man goes past this floor line here, jump and fire one normal block to destroy the second air stone. Now you can also use power block here, but since we're trying to keep the gear from overheating, it's better to use normal block instead. Slide, jump and summon jet when Mega Man is pressed against the wall. Jump to exit the screen. Climb up, change to impact and do a long jump. Then turn on your power gear and fire one power impact at the very peak of your jump. Turn off your power gear. Mega Man will land on this yellow gear where you will do another quick jump. Summoning Jet and using him as a quick step to jump up to grab the ladder. After the previous Jet leaves the screen, summon another Jet and jump up to exit the screen. Climb up, change to impact and slide twice. Flick on your power gear and fire one power impact to reach the other side. I use this floor line as my visual cue when to jump and time my shot. Now if you don't have any impact left reaching this point, go ahead and use your W tank right now. Otherwise continue and burn the rest of your impact before using the tank. Slide to exit the screen. Let your slide finish and do a full jump, then fire one normal impact to reach the first gear platform. Flick on your power gear, do another long jump and fire one power impact to reach the highest falling gear. Time to turn off your power gear again for a moment, before jumping up to reach the top platform. Quick slide to reach the edge. Now this next jump can go wrong in so many different ways, but in general it's always better to do a higher jump than too low. If I barely see Mega Man, I know my height is perfect and I can continue by holding my rapid fire. General idea here is to partially hide Mega Man so you can only see half of his body. Make sure you have your power gear on before or after your jump and then fire 5 power impacts to collect the big refill, turning off your power gear after the 5th shot. Allow Mega Man to fall down a bit so you won't fire your next impact against the wall. Ideally, you will also destroy the air stone so it won't stop you from climbing the ladder. After aligning Mega Man, fire two normal impacts. Flick on your power gear and fire one last power impact to reach the last yellow gear platform. Quickly flicking off your power gear and jumping up to summon Jet. When pressed against the wall, jump up to grab the ladder off screen. Change back to impact and slide five times to collect the refills cancelling the last slide with a jump to save some extra frames. Turn around and slide once, jump twice, slide against the wall, summon jet and jump to exit the screen. Climb up and jump instantly, summoning jet mid-air. Ride him for a bit until flicking on your power gear and jumping up, 
Change the impact and fire one power impact to reach the highest platform. Skip in the Yoko blocks. Briefly flick your power gear off and back on. Change to Buster and start charging. Slide to exit the screen. Finish your slide and jump. Summon Jet and turn around to fire your charged Power Buster, giving you a nice Jet boost and saving some Jet energy in the process. Turn off your Power Gear and ride Jet until you're able to jump up to the highest yellow gear platform. Just before landing, rapid fire and keep holding right to destroy the Met. Now jump up and quickly change to Impact in case you get a refill. Then change to Torch, turn on your Power Gear and slide twice. Hold your rapid fire once Mega Man reaches the edge of the top platform, this way firing one power torch instantly in mid-air. Turn off your power gear, change to impact and slide down, adding one more slide when reaching the bottom. Now jump twice, slide, flick on your power gear and do a long jump so Mega Man is aligned with the top of the background tower. Then fire two power impacts to reach the next refill. Quickly turn around, slide, Hold right and slide to exit the screen. If you were lucky enough to get a big drop from one of the two Mets before, you can use a slightly faster strat here and completely ignore the big refill. Destroy the roller and the Met with your power torch and change to impact. Now jump up to this platform and slide to the very edge of it. Flick on your power gear and fire one power impact. Now let Mega Man fall down a bit until he's aligned with these two flying enemies here. Then fire one power impact and flick off your power gear. Slide to exit. Let your slide finish and do a long jump. Flick on your power gear and fire one power impact to reach the second falling gear platform. Quickly followed by another jump. Summon Jet, ride him for a few frames and jump up. Then change back to impact and fire one power impact to reach the first refill platform. Turn off your power gear. Slide to grab the refill and jump again. Now make sure your jump is high enough so you're going over the first air stone. Hitting it will cause you to fall down to the pit below. Fire one normal impact. Flick on your power gear and instantly fire one power impact. Turn off your power gear before picking up the second big refill. Jump immediately after grabbing it. Then another normal and power impact to reach the third refill. This time you don't have to worry about getting hit by any air stones so you can quickly start your impact after jumping. Slide to get the refill. Medium jump. Turn on your power gear and when Mega Man is falling down, fire one power impact to destroy the air stone and allow him to fall down a bit more. You can use the vertical yellow windows in the background tower as your visual cue when to fire your last power impact. Do so to leave the screen. You should not hit any walls or ladders. Flick off your power gear right away when you're able to do so. Change to Buster and slide four times. Turn left and slide twice. Do not jump here. Just make sure you get your second slide and keep holding left, avoiding the spikes this way. Keep holding left when you enter the screen and start charging so you have that buffered and ready for the next jet boost. Instantly start holding right during the screen transition and Mega Man will avoid all the wall spikes. Same thing here. Hold right and slide twice when you reach the bottom. Now, check your gear heat levels. If you're close to 50% when nearing the next screen transition, I suggest flicking on your power gear just before sliding to the next screen, still holding charge so you'll have it ready for the next trick. If you got a lucky gear cooldown drop or your gear management was just good in general, you can start your power gear charge earlier. Slide or two before the screen transition. Doing the next trick is not recommended if you're just about to overheat. You won't have enough gear left for your power impacts. Slide one more time, jump and summon jet. Your power buster charge should be ready by now, so turn around, land on jet and release your charge, giving you another boost and saving some jet in the process. Ride rush for a few frames, long jump and use one normal impact to reach the top platform. Quick slide, low jump and normal impact. Then flick on your power gear and fire four power impacts until changing to block. Fire away one power block right after the fourth power impact finishes, destroying the mech in front of you. Turn off your power gear and jump if you end up falling below the step. Otherwise, change to impact, slide twice and jump over the little pit. Now you can either change to torch or continue normally with a slide. If you end up using the torch strat, 
long jump and exit the screen at the peak of your jump. Hold rapid fire during the screen transition to destroy the airstone above. Instantly jump and summon Jet. Flick on your speed gear for a few moments and ride Jet until he's high enough so you can jump up to the first falling platform. Followed by another jump left and right. Then jump straight up, summon Jet and jump up to grab the ladder. One more Jet summon so you can jump up to exit the screen. If you prefer this room without destroying the airstone, Slide once after you enter the screen, jump and summon Jet, then jump up to the right side gear platform. Turn around and jump left. Now, be careful not to get hit by the airstone bullet, especially if you woke up the airstone early before your jump. After dodging the bullet, jump and summon Jet. Reach the highest falling platform, jump and summon Jet. Grab the ladder, summon Jet and jump to exit the screen. Now, if you're having troubles bonking your head in ladders like these, make sure Mega Man is in a position where he's already between the blocks above, making it impossible for you to hit your head against the ceiling. If you're summoning Jet too early, you probably won't have enough reaction time to jump straight up after touching Jet. Climbing high near the screen transition is always recommended, no matter what the stage. Climb up, change to blast and flick on your power gear then slide twice, firing your power blast in the middle of your second slide to destroy the mech. Change to impact in case of a drop and slide against the gate. If you happen to have extra impact reaching the screen, use one normal impact after climbing up. Flick on your power gear in the middle of it and change to blast, then fire one power blast to destroy the mech. Slide to exit. Use your remaining impact energy and get ready for quite the flashback. It's time for one of the most legendary Mega Man bosses out there, Yellow Devil Mark III. Yellow Devil is a tricky fight, but thankfully Blast deals a lot of damage. We just have to time our shots well and skip most of the Devil's faces. Start the fight by changing the Blast and moving to the right side of the screen just so you have plenty of time to dodge the incoming Yellow Devil parts. Sliding underneath the forming blocks is actually considered more of a safe option than jumping over them. That said, slide under the first piece, jump over the floor piece, then slide again to dodge the next head level piece. Another floor piece follows, jump over it and slide under the next one. Now align Mega Man between these green ground tiles and wait until another head level piece. Jump over it, a little bit of more waiting until you see the last floor piece approaching. Do a long jump before it hits Mega Man and start firing normal blast bombs at the very peak of your jump. Hold rapid fire to throw out all four bombs, manually detonating them right after and slide to dodge Yellow Devil's attack. Now the Devil will turn on its speed gear phase and split itself into little devils. There will be three groups of them. The last little devil will have the open eye, which is the weak point. Move right in front of the yellow devil, so you're basically touching one of its legs. When you see the hand above Mega Man's head disappearing, do a full jump and move right to get hit by the last disappearing block. Quick slide and do another long jump against the wall. When the first three mini devils goes past Mega Man, hold your rapid fire to shoot two small blast bombs against the wall. Keep holding the rapid fire button so Mega Man will fire two more blast bombs. Now quickly manually detonate them. Flick on your power gear and start moving left, following the mini devils. Jump over the first group of three and fire one power blast to hit the mini devil with the weak spot. Now jump over the second group and fire one last power blast. Wait a bit for the iframes to wear out and manually detonate when the last mini devil hits the floor. You can even allow it to run a few steps and then detonate it if you're feeling uncomfortable with the timing. There are different strats for this boss fight as well, and the one I just described is not the fastest, but safest if you happen to have enough health for it, since it uses a lot of damage boosts. However, Carter's version of the fight is not only damageless, but faster as well. Start the fight by dodging the yellow devil parts like described before, and aligning Mega Man between the same green tiles. Now, instead of doing a long jump over the last floor piece, do a medium jump over it and allow Mega Man to land. Then rapid fire to throw out four small blast bombs. 
manually detonate them and jump over the incoming bullet. Now, instead of running close to the devil, run against the gate instead. Turn around to face the boss, and when you see the yellow devil's left knee block disappearing, start holding your rapid fire and move right. Now the point here is to stack your bombs, and you do this by flicking right. Do not hold the direction and keep flicking instead. This way Mega Man will stack the bombs. Right, stop, right, stop, right, stop. After stacking the bombs, walk here, partially on top of the green tile. Then wait until the stack of bombs attaches to the last mini devil of the second group. Manually detonate your bombs when you see the last devil getting into the range of your blast. Flick on your power gear and jump over the first group. Immediately throw in a barrel blast to hit the last devil again. Jump again to avoid getting hit by the second group. Turn around and throw your final power blast towards the gate, manually detonating it soon after. This should kill the yellow devil before the last mini devil hits the floor. Ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-